Hey everyone, it's Chris from Zero Fox 3D. Uh, I have a new case to show you today. This is Zoidberg. It's a case for the uh, Liligo T Deck uh, or T Keyboard, as they printed on the front of it for some reason. Um, I wasn't originally going to do a case for this device because the software from Meshtastic for it at the moment is a little bit naff. Um, that's as of the 1st of June 2024. Um, but I've seen screenshots of a new uh, firmware for it that adds a full GUI interface with icons and it, it, it looks like it'll turn it into a much more usable, interesting device. You can use it at the moment, it's just, it, it's not the best experience. So, right, I'll run you through its features and then I'll um, uh, run through how to assemble it. I'll put chapter markers in the description so you don't have to listen to me waffle too much, hopefully. Um, so, it is designed to be a sandwich, bizarrely enough. Um, most T-Deck cases uh, come with a, a body and a back cover, and it's normally much larger than the actual T-Deck itself, so that you can get some screws into the back to hold the thing together. Um, so it makes it a bit bigger and chunkier uh, than, it, than I really wanted. So this is like uh, Bender. It clips together. Um, the thing that's quite unique about it is it has a, a mid chassis, um, and this is basically the meat in the sandwich, if you like. So the T-deck goes in first, then your mid chassis, and then your, your battery and your back cover. And it all sandwiches to, together and clips together with no hardware, no screws. And the idea is that mid chassis acts as a, a barrier uh, between the T-deck and the back case. Um, and it, it all sandwiches together firmly. So when you put your fingers on the keyboard, you know, there's there's no flex. The the T T deck doesn't press in at all. It just feels very solid. Um, and yeah, all all of this with no screws, no hardware. Right. So I'll now run you through how to construct it. So first off, uh, you want to get your T deck, and as default, it will come with a speaker. Uh, glued to the back uh, of the PCB. This isn't very useful because it just adds to the width of the board and you know we want to try and make this thing as thin as possible. So what you want to do is remove the speaker. It's stuck on with a bit of self-adhesive tape. You can basically jiggle it or st uh, stick something behind the speaker. There's no actual electronic components behind it so you can't damage it. Just be careful not to you know, tear this ribbon cable or do anything silly. So once you remove the speaker you can just put that aside for one second. Um, you then probably want to connect your IPEX connector for the SMA cable now. Uh, whilst you've got access, it's nice and easy when you can just do that. Um, then you want, let's see, let's remember how you do this, the button. Now, the button actually isn't um, uh, symmetrical. There's a tiny, tiny little line that's quite difficult to see on camera. You'll probably struggle. Uh, but that denotes that that goes to the front. And the reason why is because this little hole uh, isn't actually a square this time. It's actually tilted. And the reason is so that the, the, uh, the switch can tilt in the button. Um, it stops any stress being put on it when you actually install it. So if we then take our body then, and then you want to go in at this angle and you want to try and get that button into the uh, into the hole down here. Bear in mind I'm doing this on camera, so I'm bound to make a hash of it. Nope, there you go. And you'll see that slots in. And you'll see we now have our button in position. Top is off. And that is the T deck end. You can just check the edges, make sure it's all seated correctly. That's in. Now what you want to do is you want to do your SMA connector. And I have left the nut on. I just need to unwind that. And then we want to just slot this through. This is a brand new printed case, so everything's going to be a little bit tight on this. So probably be the same. And you take your spring washer and your nut. And again it comes with my little tool for tightening SMA nuts. Give that a little pinch. Right, next off is let's see your you probably want to do your battery cable now. So 
Again, I, this adapter cable comes with the kit. It, allow, it takes the tiny little 1.25 millimeter connector, changes it into the two millimeter that's common on most of the batteries and the batteries that we're using. So you wanna take the small one and pop that into, pop that into that connector. And I'm gonna make this look really difficult. It's actually very simple. There you go. So that's, that's in. Now we want to take our mid chassis and the speaker slots into the mid chassis in there. And then you probably want to thread your battery cable. Threading all the cables is a little bit fiddly because you know we're tight on space because we're trying to make it as small as possible. But you want to basically slot that through there. And I haven't got my spudger handy for fishing cables, but yeah, you want to get Get it seated in, make sure all the little pillars are firmly sitting and you're not pinching any of the cable down, down here. I don't think I am. That feels okay. Yeah, right. And now, well, now it's about batteries. So there are three choices of battery. There is a 3,300 milliamp, uh, which is unfortunately only available in the UK. I haven't been able to, to find it anywhere else. Um, you then have a 3,700 milliamp EMB. These are both EMB. Um, this is available in the US. Um, probably able to get it worldwide. There is a third battery as well by Maker Focus, a 3,000 milliamp. I haven't tested that myself. It's been tested by someone over in the States. Uh, it was printed, Zoidberg, and uh, it fits. So the, the back cover is actually designed for all three of them. And... So the 3,300 fits in like that. The 3,007 fits in like that. And the Maker Focus one is basically the size of this little recess here. And there's a little recess because it needs a little bit more space. Um, so what I'll do is, um, just, just so you don't see me faffing around with the cables, um, I'm not going to actually put the battery in because um, it is a little bit fiddly. You just need to manoeuvre maneuver the, the cable into the position down here or up the side depending on the battery so I'll just show you how it goes together without the battery for the moment so you get your battery in you maneuver your cable and then you put your back in position so I get in focus and then it simply presses he says it is the tolerance is tight pushes together clip and there you go um, I also have available um, uh, an antenna option now uh, which you may have seen which is by PT place uh, he manufactures these in the UK um, they're nitrile wire they're tuned for the frequency um, and I have a little collar um, which basically makes it seamless so it pops on to the top and completely covers the SMA connector. So yeah, it's a nice um, it's a nice case. It's not too thick. I think it measures about 24 millimeters, so it is pocketable. You've got access to the SD card slot, power switch is there, speakers obviously there, um, and there's a tiny little um, uh, a tiny little plastic um, kind of button, flexible button for the reset switch if you ever need to reset it. But yeah, there you go, that's Zoidberg. Um, it's available on my site today. Um, generally will ship within uh, seven days, um, maybe a little bit quicker. Thanks for watching.